Now when you go ahead and load a game, you've got some options. You've got map options. You can change some things before you load the game up, whether you want the tutorial on or not. Unlock all the options. Unlock all the um, tools or buildings. It says, when checked, you'll have access to all city service and signature buildings, zone types, tools, and panels. You can have unlimited money. That you can't change if you've started a game that way. Let's go into a game and take a look at the UI. All right, here we are in the game go ahead and look at a few things. We've got our map tiles of our whole entire area. These are um, buildable, not buildable, these are purchable, purchasable areas that you can grab. Grab these different map tiles. Expand your city out here. You've got um, your different upgrade options within your city as you move along progression and then here's your milestones as you're moving along and progressing along building your city achievements is there achievement achievement section We've got some uh, city information, the type of demand, commercial, industrial, residential, and your city policies. Right now there's not a lot you can choose, but there are as you progress along. Here's a quick look at demand. And here's your overlays, here's your zones, when you want to zone areas districts signature buildings that are you've unlocked roads of course your tools are over here on the left side and then as you unlock more roads, different types of roads, roundabouts, parking, road maintenance depot, different things that you unlock, appears in the road section. The electricity down here, all the things that are involved with that power, water, Sewage outlet. Here's your health, health care area. And then this is where your cemetery and whatnot is located also. Garbage management. Adding a landfill. Education. We've got our fire, police station, and the ad administration for your city. Disaster control, I didn't click on that, but that was inside the fires. And then here's your transportation area, buses, Taxis, trains, it's a rail, tram, subway, your boats, and your planes.
Continuing on, we've got our parks and recreation area. Your basic parks. Your playgrounds. I like that they have a dog park. Large parks. Sports parks. You can see that I've got quite a lot unlocked here. Just kidding. Mail. And telecommunications. Internet. Satellite. Got some tools for terraforming. You got some different types of trees and bushes. And then pathways for people to walk on. Bulldozer. And use your uh, services where you can manage your budget, your taxes, and it's all budgeting. You can take a look at some of your numbers as they go up and down. Here we've got our public transportation and their lines. Take a look at the different lines, cargo lines. and our stats. All kinds of different graphs in here to look at. Underground view. Some camera options. If you wanna do screenshots. And over here we've got Chirper. citizens that you're following, events that have happened, and your radio station. As you get more DLC, I imagine more radio stations will show up over here that? that you can choose from. Keys. What? We're in the air? Happiness oh. levels. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost... A housing shortage is driving... And on to our main So let's go ahead and switch. And then we've got our money down here. Population. Temperature. Season. Our speed controls down here. Back to main menu options. question mark and this is your uh, advisor if you want to look at some things figure out how to do some things like the tutorial these are the info views for the different areas in the game look at your city administration look at your transportation all kinds of different things these are different zones can see the zones there you go. A quick view of those happiness level I see a lot of green ground pollution all kinds of goodies over here so that's a quick overview of the UI for city skylines 2 Thanks for watching.